all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. Welcome to the bridge where niggas can't come. Shots fired, panic if you want. I won't dare run. Handguns, keep it in my pocket if it's static, nigga. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen. Hit the sub button, all right? Hit that sub button. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough, okay? On Sunday night, Mahomes was Fisk Unit tough. That's a good game. It was. That's a, that, that's a good game. Shout out to the Mahomes. Shout out to the Chiefs. It was a good game, but it don't change anything. It doesn't fix a thing. It solves nothing. That is the Mahomes that we all know and some of y'all love. But that Mahomes only comes out when he's not being cover two. Okay, the Rams run a single high defense. They run a cover one defense. They run a lot of robber man. They run a lot of cover three. It's easy to burn that if you're the Chiefs. That's what Mahomes does. The reason why Mahomes has been struggling is because teams like the Giants, teams like the Packers, have no problem sitting in a cover two and making the, the man dick and dunk his way down the field or making Andy Reid actually call a damn run play. All right, so what he did to the Raiders, it don't even count. We're not impressed. Okay, ho-hum. Big deal. We're not impressed. I need to see you do that to a Belichick. I need to see you do that to a real team that's going to sit to put them two safeties back and take away them deep balls that he was throwing. Not many one-on-one -on -one deep balls that he get away with on on the um the Raiders. How many one-on-one -on -one bombs like that that bomb he missed to Kelsey? You know what I'm saying? That he's getting one-on-one -on -one looks with dudes that will never happen versus teams with a brain. Going into the game, the defensive coordinator on the Raiders said, "We're gonna do what we do. We're not gonna change our game plan. We're gonna play how we play." And 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 you got lit up for five touchdowns. The, the way to stop the Chiefs is to put two safeties over the top and try the patience of Mahomes and Andy Reid. Mahomes wants to bomb the ball and Andy Reid refuses to run the ball. When someone gives you a two safety look, you run the ball. The only way to only way to get them out of a two man look, two safety look, is to run them out of it. The Chiefs don't want to run the ball. And that's going to bite them come playoff time because I promise you in the playoffs, Teams with brains are going to run that cover too. And the Chiefs is going to look stupid. Like they always do. Mahomes is going to go, he's going to throw dumb picks. Andy Reid is going to refuse to run the ball. And they going and, and, and Tyreek Hill going to have like 12 catches for 70 yards like he did versus the damn Giants. Because they all going to be bubble screens and wide receiver jet sweeps and shit. So I'm not impressed with this Chiefs team. I'm not impressed. You had one game where the defensive coordinator decided not to build the wall. In football, you cover two, Mahomes. In basketball, you build a wall around Giannis. It's as simple as that. It's like watching the NBA Finals. The Sunday night game with Mahomes is the equivalent of watching Giannis versus the Suns. You know why Miami beat Giannis? They built the wall. You know why the Raptors beat Giannis? They built a damn wall. You know why the Suns lost the finals? They didn't want to build a wall. They thought that their young up-and-coming center, DeAndre Ayton, could handle Giannis one-on-one. -on -one, and he couldn't do it. You know why the Raiders gave up five touchdowns of 400 yards? Because they thought they can go one-on-one -on -one with Tyree killing them boys and not put two safeties over the top. And they got burnt for it. You have to cover two Mahomes and make him nickel and dime his way up the field. It's as simple as that. You have to dare Andy Reid to run the ball. It's as simple as that. That's how you beat the Chiefs. The formula is not complicated. It's not. You keep everything in front of you and make them boys nickel and dime. They don't want to do it. They don't want to run the ball. They don't want to throw check downs. It's not what they do. <laughs> it's not what they do. I'm telling you, man. <sighs> I want to shit on the Raiders, but they lost their head coach. I mean, I really do. 
I mean, you know I love shitting on Derek Carr because I think he trash. But you know what? I'm going to let y'all be the judge of that. If y'all think Derek Carr is nice, then God bless. I don't feel like ragging on Derek Carr right now. I'm not in the mood. You know, it's not my fault this guy's been to the playoffs one time in his career. It's not my fault that no matter what head coach he has, he stinks up the joint. It's not my fault that a couple years ago he was crying like a bitch in the huddle. It's not my fault he does these things. None of this is my fault. Okay, Derek Carr, he stinks. And that's that. I'm not even going to, not even, even in the mood, the rant on Derek Carr right now. Just, just, he stinks. And that's that. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit. If you rocking with me, my name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.